Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Tristan from UtahSEO.ninja. Today I'm going to look at how we connect our Weebly accounts with our HostGator account. So we can take advantage of all the extra goodies that we get when we host our websites somewhere outside of Weebly, such as free email accounts, which you can set up right there. You can upload extra files to it, so if you need to store something else on your website or on your server, this is how you can do it, which is something you cannot do in Weebly. You can add subdomains, you can add in all this other stuff. It actually has a system here where you can just automatically connect your Weebly account with your HostGator, which is really cool. You can do all kinds of neat stuff. Here's your site match, you can produce all this stuff, you can get Facebook traffic, and you can even take all this and you can then go to Attracta, which is one of my favorite SEO tools. You just push buttons and work is done. You don't have to worry about it. And if you have a HostGator account, then you can do that for free. So HostGator is pretty cool. Now, there are a couple of different things that we're going to need to do before we get started with this. The first thing is, hello, I have no idea how to pronounce that, G-P-L-A-I-V-G-T, G-P-L-A-V-G-T, thanks for watching, <laughs> I'm really bad at this, so I appreciate your guys' patience. Um, move this over here so I can see that, so I can see if anybody else says anything. Okay. So, from your Weebly profile, or account, you want to come over here to where it says Publish. And this is actually just going to publish by its own, isn't it? Yeah. Gaming channel? I love gaming channels. Alright, so, we're going to add a site. We're just going to cheat and start over. I'll just say it's a blog. I'll just pick this one. Okay. So we're going to do this, and this particular one that we're going to be working with, if I'm not mistaken, is, what's the name of this one? I think it's Costa Rica Spanish School.com. All right, so that is how you do that. Okay. I'm going to publish, hit continue, and then this is where it's going to tell you that you need to make changes to your hosting account. All right. So if we want to do this on our own, we just click right here. It says see instructions, and then this is the part that we're looking for, and it actually tells you how to do everything. And if you're already working with Google, with GoDaddy, with Yahoo, or WordPress, then everything's already laid out for you. Just follow their specific instructions, and these will usually always be just about the same. Let me zoom out just a little bit here. It's too much. And basically what we need to do is we need to create two A records. Okay, so let me show you how to do that real quick. Come back over here to HostGator. And we're going to come down here to where it says our, um, under domains, we have three options. We have simple DNS, advanced DNS, and DNS tool. So we're going to go with our advanced DNS. Usually you can do this with the simple DNS as well. But it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Now this told us that we need to create two different records, right? We need one for the host, or for the root of our domain, which is usually an at or a star symbol, and it needs to point to this. So we copy this, and come over here, and we're going to find the one that I was talking about. And it looks like this doesn't have one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and let's see here. So it says our name. What we do is we take this, and we're going to put that. And that should like this. Is it going to copy what we already have? Hit add record. All right, so there is one. Where'd it go? Right down here. All right. The other one says we need to do is our www. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this already has one of those set up right here. See that right there? So what we need to do is we just hit edit. We're going to change this to an A. And we can actually just delete this part because we don't need it. And we're, oh, it's already back. Copy and paste that in there again. Hit edit. And it should be updated. And that's just about it. Uh, this usually takes about 24 hours to have all the servers update, which isn't too bad. Let's test this out real quick. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually going to redirect us to a different page. Yep, it sure did. Anyways, that's the easy part, right? And then this part will continue. I'll, I'll be set up. You just hit continue. 
And like it says right here, once the DNS changes are made, it may take up to 48 hours, although usually less for the changes to propagate through the internet. So that's how that part works. So now this website, yay, is now doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, actually, there it is right there. All right, let's do a little bit of work here then. Let's go ahead and add a standard page. We're going to call this home. I'll save that. I will add a headline up here. This is our Costa Rica Spanish school. This was a domain that I picked up. Learn Spanish online. And I thought, hey, that's a cool domain. Let's pick it up. And so I did. And it was a horrible, horrible mistake. The person who owned it before me used it for all kinds of spam and all kinds of other stuff. It actually has a Google penalty on it, so it wasn't even showing up online. Just an absolute mess. But what are you gonna do? Okay, so here is all that. Let's go ahead and publish this too. I'm just gonna take this and move it up here like that. So that's now our home page. Let's publish this again. Refresh. There we go. So yeah, it looks like it just took a second to reload. But that's how that works. And so what's nice about this is now you can come back over here into your cPanel, right? And you can come over here to email accounts. And we are going to create one for this. Here's our Spanish school. So we're going to name this uh, Tristan. I'm going to put a password on it. And we're going to create an account. Now you can use their Gmail stuff. I'm not particularly fond of it, to be honest. Um, it's just not something I like. But uh, you certainly can use that. And like I said, it's $5 a month. Where did we go? These are all the email addresses I created over the years. OK. So we want to access our new webmail. And I like Roundcube. Horde is pretty cool too. Horde is actually really, really good for mobile devices. And I think Roundcube is better for the PC. But that's just me. But we now have a brand new and relatively free email account. We can create all the email accounts that we want. So let's do some more fun stuff here. Let's come back over here to our home. We're going to come down here to increase website traffic. And did it not work? It looks like it did not work. Let's try it again. All right, so we'll do a different one. So tracta.com. And you can log in with your information on here for your HostGator account. And this is actually the wrong one. Oh, it'll work. It'll still do the same thing, just with a different username. And you can create your Google sitemaps. You just click on the button, create and submit. Give it just a quick second. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, this domain was also blacklisted. You gotta stop buying those blacklisted ones. All right, so that's done. We now just sent out our sitemaps to, um, I believe it was Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Ask.com. So that only took like a second. Let's see if we're being blacklisted. And in fact, it probably will say that uh, I'm saying not being blocked by Google, which is incorrect. You can start building up some backlinks to this. So I've already done it on this one, so we don't need to do it again. But what this does is it helps um, increase your website's authority and you know, some of your rankings online, which is really cool. And then you click this right here, and you can verify all of your submissions. And there you go. So let's click on this and see what it says. Yeah, so this one's actually still being locked. That's why it's not showing up on there. But if we were to go over here to Bing instead, Bing is not doing it. So we can actually see, you know, how these things are being applied and how quickly and everything else. It's really cool. And that's one of the best reasons to go with HostGator is because you get access to Attracta, which again is a free tool as long as you have that HostGator account, and you can do all kinds of awesome stuff with it. Uh, what else can I show you? So like I said, we got all this connected, and anytime you make any changes to this, just hit Publish again, and it will show up over here. 
Now, once you upgrade your account, if you were to go to, you know, something that was one of the paid accounts, then you can change your, um, oh, I forgot the word for this, Flavicon right here, which is the symbol that shows up next to your website name, so you can get rid of the W, and you also can get rid of this down here. So this is just so that we, people know that things being hosted all weekly. Now, I actually don't mind having this down here most of the time, and in fact, I kind of go out of my way to leave it just because I really like Weebly and HostGator, so I try to promote them as best I can. But um, if you wanted to get your own domain and do everything else, then you can actually use Weebly for free on that domain. Like I said the only real drawbacks is you have this right here, you have this down here, and then there are some of the advanced features in your builds that um, are not available. So for example, these two right here, you can see where it has a little lightning bolt. Those are for your upgrades. So you don't, you're not able to upload HD video, but you can host it from YouTube, which is actually better. Uh, same thing with audio and adding a search box. So those are really the only three big differences. Yeah, you can see just how quick and easy that is. Like I said, it only took a second. I was looking for something extra because I was redirecting this particular website to a different website. And yeah, I know. And that's where the problem was with that. But I said it's really easy, and that's all you gotta do. Just come down here to advanced DNS, pick your domain, and then you add in those two pieces. So this first one, like I said, it's either gonna be an at symbol, which this one doesn't like. I'll put in a little star right there instead. This will take all of your subdomains. So for example, I times is like www dot, and I'll send that over. Um, I don't know why. I don't really know what these mean, to be totally honest. Um, but just copy that one and then copy and paste the address. And then for the other one, like I said, it's www, just hit edit and copy over the IP address and you'll be done again. So really, really, really simple. Like I said, just follow the instructions that they have here on Weebly as far as how to do it. And then if you do need any extra help, then I believe um, HostGator has some extra information on it. And if you want to go really crazy, you can just come over here to your HostGator panel and scroll all the way down, and here is your Weebly site builder. And you can actually build your website straight here from Weebly. And just log in that way. So that's pretty cool too. So you don't actually have to go over to Weebly and connect everything, you can just do it from here. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's everything. Does anybody have any questions? I have a couple people here who are, uh, who are watching. Give you guys just a second because I think there's about a 20 second delay. Um, hopefully, I will be doing more of these live events in the future. I'll probably be doing them about the same time, you know, every Friday, just so I can get myself on a schedule. Um, if you guys do have any questions, if there's something specific that you'd like me to go over during these videos, please let me know. Uh, there's comments. I actually just set up an email account so you guys can contact me a little bit more easily through there. It is Tristan SEO at gmail.com. So just just in my first name, SEO from Search Engine Optimization at Gmail. And you guys can send any questions or anything that you would like from there. And um, so yeah, like I said, we're gonna see if we can do that. Hopefully this next one will be a little bit better organized. I had some technical troubles. I am using um, actually Gplay, you're probably familiar with this. Uh, this is GameCaster. Uh, no, it's XSplit Broadcaster, which is what I do. I use for some of my gaming videos. I do that. Oops, the hell went away. I don't do a lot of gaming content, but occasionally I do on a separate channel just so I can test stuff for optimizing YouTube videos, which is actually really fun. And uh, it didn't want to connect to this live stream, so that's the reason why we were so late. Normally, these videos shouldn't go over, you know, ten to fifteen minutes. Let me check right over here and see if there are any questions. Doesn't look like it. So I will go ahead and end this. Um, again, my name is Tristan from UtahSEO.ninja. I hope you have found some sort of value in this time that you spent here with me. I appreciate you guys for hanging out and um, for participating. And let me see what else. Um, there are coupon codes for Weebly and for HostGator. They'll be in the description once I write the description. Um, of course, we have also started up a Patreon if you guys would like to get some of the extra benefits from that. 
The reason I started that was because a lot of people were looking for issues with specific websites or things that are going to be very individualistic. So for example, if you have a very specific problem with a very specific uh, aspect of your website that doesn't really apply to a lot of other websites, then there's not really much of a point in you making a whole video on how to fix this one individual problem for this one individual website. And so I've set up a way to um, to ask me questions directly, and it's also a way that you can get like you know consultations and things like that. And that's all run through Patreon. It just seemed like it was the easiest way to handle all that kind of stuff. So again, nothing is, of course, uh, what's the word, obligatory. I mean, you're not going to miss out on anything by not signing up. And you just get some extra stuff. So it's pretty cool. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think that's it. So I will go ahead and let you guys go. I'm going to go get something to eat because I have not eaten yet. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Yay for awkward live streams! Woohoo! How do I stop this thing now? There we go.